I did not taste the lumps, it just it was smooth. So I was like, whatever miracle that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The winner of the family recipe cook-off, Martin. It's a very difficult decision because I think all three teams made such a great, such a great fair. And it's, that I think it's, it's, it's just fantastic. But my personal favorite for me, I would go with the blue team of the pros. Coco? I will have to agree with Martin uh, with the prawn dish. I really love it. So, I guess family Lee, that means you win this challenge. Well done. We were hoping we were going to win, but I didn't expect to win. I mean, there's all the contestants put together nice dishes. I'm dying to taste the rest, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Blue team winning, I think they deserve it in the sense that first looking at presentation looked very nice. Okay guys, our next challenge is called the Tag Team Challenge. This is a bake-off challenge, okay, where you will have 90 minutes to make your recipe. Um, all of you will be baking the same thing, but the difference with this challenge is that our little cooks are going to be working on their own this time around, so you're not going to have big cook around to help you. Team Lee, you won the last round, so this time around you get to choose who starts the challenge, the little cook or the big cook. Now, whatever you choose, the remaining teams have to do the opposite. So remember, this is a tag team challenge, so at some point when you're busy cooking, I'm going to announce a swap over. And I might call a swap over more than once, so beware. For the last part of the challenge, both cooks can work together to complete the dish. Understand? We have chosen for you to bake the roasted vegetable feta cheese quiche. Served either hot or cold, quiche is a savoury open-faced pastry which is filled with an egg-based savoury custard. Tonight's recipe is for a vegetable quiche with feta cheese and roasted mixed vegetables, but contestants are free to add meat or seafood or anything that takes their fancy from the pantry table. Are you guys nervous? Okay. <laughs> yes, that's great. What? Can you work without mommy? Yes, I'm sure I can. Oh, okay. And Jane, how are you feeling? Fine. You, so you can work without your, your mom too? Yes. Okay. Sisters, Unati? Yeah. How are you going to deal with this one? Yeah. You've got it. In the can. Okay. I like it. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. Off to your cooking stations. Once is now ready for the next challenge. And Sister Lassie, the fat lady, hasn't sung yet. So we're about to discover which team has a real flair for baking. And the team that wins this challenge goes through to the semi-finals where the culinary adventure continues. Okay, Family Lee, you won the last challenge. So what have you decided with this challenge? Who stays and who goes? Little Cook stays. Little Cook stays. Okay, that means that the reverse happens for the rest of you. Little Cooks, you're going to be coming out. Ons as a boss, and I get rechter gedink, Pascal, gaan dat sy ma eerste begin, so dat hulle die meeste van die werk gedoen kan kry in die begin vir die tyd. En toe hy dit nou verander, was dit nogal vir ons vreemd. We're throwing one more wild card your way the pantry table. We've chosen some special ingredients so you can spice up your recipe or decorate your dish if you so choose. Start cooking. I've heard of it, but I haven't tasted the dish. We've never made a quiche before in our lives. <laughs> this is the first. I've heard of the dish, quiche, and I've tasted it before. Okay. I feel nervous. Hopefully I do well. So that's when my mom comes in, hopefully all of it will be done so that we can get going and start putting our vegetables in the oven. I have a lot of in Jane that as I can verduidelik and so on, as I do it sicker of once I can 100 percent and say the kiss up I can mark work. It's enough, right? It's plenty. It's more than enough. I don't think girls have a disadvantage or I have an advantage in the kitchen. I think it's level playing grounds. <laughs> All of these. Here's the wire. Okay. 
hy het nie geweet om my goed te meet nie, en dis nie net mushrooms en mushrooms en, en dis ek so, ja, jy moet die meter eindelijk gebruik. <laughs> okay, cooks, it's time for a swap. Three, two, one. And you have 10 seconds to communicate with your cooks. I went in with a strategy to measure everything because I knew that Lil Cook might have a problem with measuring the vegetables herself. So it was better for me to just put out everything out and she would come in and chop whatever it is that I put out and that would save a lot of time. I'm still busy. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Sit down. How are you doing? Fine, I'm just... Nicely cut, eh? Thank you. Just make sure that all the peel's off. OK, they're all off there. At the same, you went to roast the veggies and the tomatoes at the yes. same time? Yes, I went to veggie, onion, and everything all roasted at the same time. And we got another surprise after. <laughs> it's time to swap. Yes. Go to your stations. Yes. I've already done these. Three, two, one. Leave your station, red team. The swaps added a bit of a twist to the challenge, which was fun. However, it just meant I had to trust Lil Cook to, 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 to read and to also carry forth whatever that needs to be done. That's oil, normal oil. The other one's olive oil. That's... I'm able to do the stuff, but if I think I'm doing it wrong, I ask my mom, just in case I'm not doing it right. I think in life there's things that must be done a certain way and I think he's also at that age where he if is... taught to me wrong, it, then it'll be... Then he's going to carry on with bad habits. I think overall the time is enough. Lil Cook is a bit slow, but I don't think that will be a big problem. It's fine. So that is Cook's eat. I'm in the kitchen now. <laughs> I'll get the rest done. Cooks, you have 65 minutes left. Those vegetables should be in the oven by now. I think they are running a bit late on my perception. And also, uh, they put all the veggies together at the same time. Is that a problem? Yes, because you have vegetables that cook faster than the other one. Because after that, they have to go again and be cooked in the, with the, in the quiche. Mm -hmm. So it might be a little problem for me. How do you think they're doing? You know, I find it very interesting that they haven't used any haven't they used the advantage they will have with the pantry table? If there's some nice proteins on there, for example, there's bacon there, mm -hmm. and it would give it a complete different dimension you know, to the smokiness of the, of the vegetables. So, so far, we have all just vegetarian quiches, as the recipe stipulates. And from a creativity point of view, nobody's gone over that line mm -hmm. and yeah. being creative yet. Mm -hmm. Yet, they might still do it. It's make or break time, and when we come back, we'll find out how much can go right or wrong in the last essential moment. So don't go away. Welcome back to the Way Better Kitchen, where our teams are sweating it out to complete their roasted vegetable and feta quiche. Time's running out, guys. In three, two, one, swap. Five, four, three, two, one. Leave your stations. I see you're getting a little bit adventurous now. Yes, we just, we're not really real big vegetarians, so we're going to do a little bit of a strip of chicken to ah, serve with it. Okay. <laughs> to serve with it, or are you going to mix it inside? No, we're going to serve it on the side. That's interesting.
careful that you don't cut yourself. Can I show you something quickly? Just cut that onion in half, and then you can. it's easier to cut like this. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to cut yourself, and I don't want you to cut yourself. Are you crying? <laughs> From the onions? Yes. Where are you going to mix that in now? How are you going to do that? Um, with the garlic. And then you're going to mix that with? The custard. Okay. Unati, don't add the onions to the mixture. Mm -hmm. We're going to fry them. Okay. 55 minutes left and our veggies are not in the oven. Panicking a bit, but they only had to be in for 30 minutes. So we're just hoping that um, because we didn't cut the butternut very thick, mm -hmm. that it will cook very quickly. Time was running and I was under a lot of pressure. Now mix it up again and let's put it in the oven. <laughs> huh? Great, let's put it in. Come. The judges, where mm. do you think they should be at the stage? Well, obviously, the, all, all the vegetables in the oven, so I'm happy to see that. I think they're still okay. For well, the red team, it's going to be a tight one. Mm. In three, two, one, swap. Mm. Wat ons gaan halen bij de pantry was die gewone vetakas geruil voor die een met die kraaien in, omdat ik gedenk dat zal die groente complimenteer in basil, want de mati vrouw van basil. Cooks, you have 40 minutes left. You should be busy with your phyllo pastry run about now. This challenge was a bit challenging because I'd never used phyllon before and I knew if I'm, if I'm probably struggling with it, Lil Cook might also have a, a problem. Jane, I just slim down the bokis out. The bokis are on vice for your snail. What's your ache? Teammates, I have some good news. You can join your teams. Yes. yes. <laughs> And finish off your dishes. You've been quite generous today. Okie dokes, did you see what you've done? This is a good job. We're supposed to put the veg in first. Oh. Just to compact it, it's going to make it a very thick part. Okay. I covered them with this natal and I'm going to put that on back. Teams, please note that you only need to plate two. Then why did we have to make six? I don't know. Let's just make six in case. Okay. She said two. She said two. Can put this in the oven? Please. I think we'd like to win it, I think. Right now, very badly. <laughs> <laughs> The trip, more than anything, Unati, she's a kid. Obviously, going to Disney would just be a, a great opportunity for her. It would be fun. As we sit when, I could also just prefer to, as the first time I flew, I had to go to Jane's house. She always said, "Look, I'm going to do a chunk to sit and look at her face." So yeah, for my seeing, that on the flight, I can see and see good. Cooks, you have 15 minutes left. Let them on the train. It's burning. We didn't know that they were going to get burnt easily. And then they got burnt, and then we had to fix that. <laughs> Put the other two. And then this time we made sure that but we were like, our eyes were on the oven all the time. Um, as we can get out of it, before the time is up, then it's for us for the power. I think I was a laid off in the bit. Yeah. <laughs> but I think he did well. I think he, he handled very well. It was team work. <laughs> she did a great job. Proud of her. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to starve them. We don't know the French fish. But this one's saying, can I go another pile? We had so much time on our hands that we could afford to present it nicely, that it could give us extra points. Big cooks, little cooks, you got five minutes remaining.
Ik denk ons wou... Heel te maal seker maak ons gaar. Ja. <laughs> so was al elke minuut wat ons kon gebruik om het in die oon te hee. Dit was ons hele strategie achter daai en om so lang as moendlik in daai hitte te hou. Seker te maak as hulle hulle lepel of verk te indruk. Dit is nie rauw nie. <laughs> Sure. I, I hope it cooked through when you put it into the oven. <laughs> but I did give you a very thick piece to toast. This one definitely. Okay. One minute remaining. It's just too much fat. Okay. And I'll just go. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking. <laughs> After the break, we get down to some serious tasting to see who our winning teams will be. So you've seen our teams blend, saute, garnish, and now it's time to see which team emerges as tonight's champions. It's tasting time. Coco? Blue team. Will you bring forward your dish? Well, we hope they like it, because it's our first, <laughs> first time first to doing this type of thing. <laughs> so we've never ventured into it, but I think we now also have something else we want to maybe try it at home. OK. So I can see that you guys use the pantry table with some little chicken pieces over here. Yes. Filo pastry is nice and crispy by the sounds of it all. Let's see what it tastes like. I have to be honest, I was a little concerned that your butternut pieces were big and that they weren't going to cook softly in time. But they're actually perfect. It's nice. Well done. Presentation-wise, it looks absolutely fabulous. And I think that's what you have achieved with the chicken from the pantry station. I like the texture. I would have liked to see the chicken perhaps inside the quiche. That would have been perfect. Thank you. I really like the fact that you can taste uh, the feta cheese. Very well done. I like the, the fact that you can feel that it's a proper quiche with some egg notes in it. It would be nice to win, but you know what? Doing something together is winning in any case. Yeah. In our eyes, you know, just spending the time together is winning. Ray team, please bring your dish to the judges' table. I think we're gonna do well. At the at this time we don't know who's the best, but then we'll see. It's nicely cooked. And nice chunks of vegetables inside there. Very nice dish, ladies. I'm very impressed. Thank you. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised that the veggies are so crunchy. As Martin says, it's good. Well done. You can take your dish and go back to your stations. Finally, yellow team, please bring your fish forward. Ons hoop die judges hier is lekker. Ons hoop hulle hou daarvan. Ons hoop hulle genie die veranderinge wat ons gedoen het. En ons hoop dit, ja, ons hoop dit het gewerk, dit wat ons gedoen het. I've never seen a mom and daughter giggle as much as you two. <laughs> I would actually love to be 
in your home whilst you're cooking. I'm sure it's a hoot. The garnish, hot and spicy. A whole, a whole chili. Yes. <laughs> Not sure if I should taste that one. They say it works like Botox on your lips. Ah. <laughs> You can taste the, the fried onions, or the sautéed onions. It's got a different textures than the other ones. So it's a little bit different. I'm not saying strange, but it's got some good flavours. Thank you. Well done, team. Thank you. Indeed, those uh, peppers, and caramelized onion bring a plus to the whole uh, balance of the dish. Let's say maybe just to peel the, uh, the peppers before you put them in the, okay. In the dish. Okay. okay? But otherwise, very well done. Thank very you. nice. Meal. Thank you. The judges and I are now going out to gain deliberate, and we'll be back. As the judges walk off, we're so nervous. We're anticipating what the outcome will be. I'm not sure how it's going to go. I mean, the judges pretty much liked almost everything. Big cooks, little cooks, thank you very much for your delicious dishes today. We've enjoyed you immensely, and you all have something beautiful to offer. But unfortunately, there can only be one winner. It was a very difficult decision to take. We based our decision on your creativity, on the techniques that you use, on the ingredients, the way they were cooked. And for us, the team that will go to the semi-final, we have decided that it will be the blue team. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Superstars and Waltons, you do not go away empty-handed. We've got some fantastic prizes for you, compliments of Clover. Well, there you have it. It's been tense but exhilarating. All three teams have impressed us with their skills, and we hope that they keep cooking. Please join us again for more fantastic family recipes and a bake-off with some surprises next week. Until then, from all of us here, good night. Thanks for joining us on Clover's Little Big Cook-Off. Tune in next week for more excitement in the kitchen.